Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. Now today I have a really awesome creation for you and that is black holes in Minecraft. Now I should note that this actually has been done before in the past by a collaboration between Cube Hamster and Whoopi Concepts. And I'm gonna leave a video down well I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna leave a video to theirs down in the description. It is awesome and I highly recommend that you check it out. But it was made about a year ago. I don't know if I said that already. And yeah, it was in 1.8. So I just made this version for 1.9, which is a bit different. This one does some things that the other one can't do, and it doesn't do some things that the other can't do. The thing that it cannot do is it does not work in three dimensions. It only works in two dimensions. That's mainly because I wanted to make this kind of simple, and I actually made this just to kind of show off something else. So it's, it's not too complex, although it would not be too hard to add a third dimension to it. Also, I'm a bit lazy, so... Let's show you guys what this does. So when we place down an entity, it will just be sucked right into the black hole. And this works in all all directions, all basically, yeah. So all directions. And it will work with multiple entities at the same time. And the farther away we get from the black hole, the slower the entity will go at first. Because when it's all the way over here, the gravity does not have a strong effect on it, but as it gets closer to the center where the gravity is the strongest, it will just continuously speed up. So that's awesome. If we place it too far out, you can see that the gravity has no effect on it at all. Right over here, it's moving so slowly, you can barely see it because the gravity just is not strong. But as it gets closer, the gravity affects it more and it will just be pulled right into the center. So this over here is not affected because currently the black hole only has a radius of 50. But the thing my system does that the other one cannot is it can change the radius to anything. It can be 30 million if you wanted it to be. However, of course, you are kind of bounded by the chunk limits because if it doesn't render, it won't really work. But you can technically do it as big as the entire world is which is pretty dang awesome and I'm just gonna show you that you can actually move the black hole so I can move that over here you know yeah you can also have multiple black holes however only the closest one will actually affect the entity you can uh, you can move the black hole while another entity is going so you can see it now switches directions over here so that's pretty cool and let's show you guys how this works real quick so let's go over to the command blocks there's about 400 command blocks here now i know that's kind of bulky but it yeah there's a lot of stuff happening so the first thing that it does is it grabs the world coordinates of the entity so in order to do that it needs to basically teleport an armor stand far out and then it also has to use those world coordinates to teleport it back so that's the majority of the system. I think that's all the way up to here, actually. So it's these four bottom rows. And the calculations for the black hole and teleportation is only these two top rows. And I'm going to leave a link to the channel of a guy named Gamer Guppy, who actually helped me a long time ago. Not a long time ago. About basically getting... Uh, I don't even know what it's called now. Getting the... It's not the, uh, well, I don't even know what the name for it is, but basically helping me with the little system to convert, to convert the slope in, into, um, I don't know if it's called polar coordinates or yeah, whatever it is, but he helped me do that. And that's why it works in a vector like fashion with. A, and it will go in whatever radius you set it in and the distance works and it's constant so that's pretty awesome <laughs> sorry if that was kind of confusing I didn't really explain that very well anyway yes so that's how that works and we can actually change the radius as I said earlier over here all we need to do is set these first two numbers to whatever we want so I'm just going to set it to 150. Now there's only one other thing we have to do besides this. And okay, over here we actually have to change both these numbers. 
we need to set the 150R to 150. So you can just do this by typing in the command like that. I had already set it before, so there's really no need for me to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so now the black hole is going to have a huge radius. We can see that even over here, the gravity is already really strong because the gravity of the black hole is now a ton stronger. And if we go all the way out over here, the gravity should weaken up quite a bit, but the gravity is still super strong. So it, it has a radius of, as I said, 150. So that's huge distance. Even over here, it's still pulling in these entities. It would take a distance of about right here to stop. Oh, it's it's still going. Still going right there. Okay, so right here, it does not work. So that's just that's insane that it has such a huge such a huge radius. That's really cool. And I'm going to show you that it actually works on players as well. So, you can see right here, I can kind of fight the um the pull of the black hole. If we're all the way over here, we can actually Okay, I'm going to try to get to a place where I can actually fight the gravity. So right here. Okay, I just failed so hard. Okay. Let's go all the way over here. Okay. Currently not affected. And the closer we get, we should start getting sucked up by the black hole. Okay, so right here we can actually fight the gravity of the black hole. And we actually just escaped. But if the if we get pulled too far in, we are not able to get out. So let's see how far. Right here, we can actually... Okay, right here is when we can no longer get out. And now we're stuck and we're basically dead. Because it's just going to pull us all the way in. And as the closer we get, the more we're not going to be able to fight it. We can try to move, but it's still going to be pulling us towards the center. I'm just going to remove that right before I die because I don't want to die. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. You can just kind of put that wherever. It does sort of work in three dimensions. You can see if I do something like this and then place the armor stand up here, it actually gets pulled down. However, it does not do it if the armor stand is underneath the black hole. But anyway, yes, that's about it. I actually have another video pretty soon, which is not much. It's just a little system that will allow you to get the player's world coordinates and also teleport them there. This is a really simple system that I think could actually help map makers out quite a bit. I'm going to leave the download link to this map in the description below if you want to play with it. And, you know, just whatever, you, whatever really. So, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out. That was loud. <laughs> Peace.